Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little bit of time, like about a week and a half since I've been uh, doing long form content, but uh, I'm back. Today I'm gonna be covering this uh, playbook manager that I've created in Notion. Uh, so if you have a Notion account, you can actually duplicate this. It's live on the web, I'll link it below. And you can see here that you can uh, use it as a template. And so you can kind of use this to track the various aspects of your competitive game. If you're an IGL, or uh, wanting to just uh, start to build that kind of like strategy database or, or uh, repository, this is this is for you. It's um, fully laid out in a way that I think is pretty efficient. I'm sure I'll be making changes to it in, uh, over time, and I'll eventually like push those updates to uh, the templatized version. But for now, this is uh, what I've settled on. So uh, you can see here there's strategies, defaults, protocols, utility, and callouts. I have the callouts and utility databases basically full. There's likely some stuff missing that you'll find you need and you'll have to add some as you go or some maybe my callouts are, are um, somewhat different from what other people will call them. Um, so you can edit that as you go, but for the most part, they're there so that you can connect um, the other databases to them. Uh, for example, like if you have start of round utility and you want to connect it like smoking Xbox on Dust2, you could do a T spawn smoke on dust2, that's a B1, T spawn to Xbox, and you can just connect it right there since it's already in the utility database. And if you wanted to uh, say you send a teammate to this page, okay, could you go learn the um, T side start of round utility for smoking Xbox? They could go to that start of round protocol either by going to start of round or going to dust2 over here. And they could click on that, open it on as a page here and copy this command and just paste it into their practice server and they'll be exactly where they need to be to throw it and they'll have all the information here that they need to throw it. Um, I have made a separate video on the utility uh, database. It, you can also copy that with all of the utility lineups that you can test in the server and practice for yourself. You can sort them by maps and various other attributes here. This is free to duplicate. I'll link this and the video overview that I made of it below in the description. Feel free to check that out if you're interested in just the utility side. Uh, that's for a wider wider range of players. So if you're not looking to IGL and build these more complex strats, pretty much every player looking to improve their game needs to track utility in some way. So uh, I would highly recommend duplicating that. Not all the lineups are gonna be the most ideal yet, but I've uh, added in some basic util into all the maps and we'll be refining that over time as well. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but those are linked below. There's also this other tool, CS Wiki. I'll link that below. You can duplicate this or comment on it if you have a Notion account. I'm still ironing this out, but it is a good resource for learning about the different aspects of competitive play. So check the description for those other resources that I've recently published. Let's just take a quick look at my version that I've been editing just to see how this kind of looks once you've uh, like populated a map with, with the various connecting things. So this Reggie's playbook will be published later on, both on YouTube and uh, as a Notion template. I will be publishing this as a paid template since it's uh, a little bit more of a knowledge product. So that will be 20 or $25, but the rest of the CS Notion tools that I'm creating, all free. Let's look at our double A site default. So it's a 212, but we're not crossing one to connector, right? We have one under balcony, one triple box. It's the double set site setup with a window and a cat player and one fan. We can see that our, our protocols for this is a molly ramp and a flash mid from one of the A players, right? That's easy enough. And we can always look at this protocol and see which flash it is, that kind of thing. They all connect, you can work your way down. And for this T side default, for as an example of how the defaults can connect to the top level database, which is strategies before we dive into that. Um, for the mid control default, you, you do want to define some extra things because there's pathing and timings that you need. And so you can connect it to the strategies database where you can like further define all of these uh, more intricate details. So the overview of the strategy, your end goals, any contingencies if your players go down in a certain spot. Um, and you can define your pathings and timings and which utility they throw uh, within here. There's also attributes within the strategies database, as we can see here. You could full screen any one of these databases by just clicking this right here. So if you want to just work on strategies, which I like to full screen the database when I'm just working on Mirage strats, right? So for 
for the Mirage fast mid control here on T side, that's the one that's connected to our mid control default. We can see that the uh, from the attribute pathing, it's the first pathing group could be one or two players is going to be top middle to boxes to chair. So they're going the top route. They're not going straight down middle, but this another group here. So probably a two and one in in some of these spots uh, in in one of these two. Or it's a one one and one for this particular strat if you're doing a one three one here. So we have the other pathing defined, top middle to lower middle, so that's just cutting across front boxes and underpass to lower middle, so going as fast as they can, pinching mid. So you could define these here. These are connected to the callouts database indicated by that phone there. And you can just type your callouts and you'll see which map uh, each callout belongs to. So you select the right one. And that's basically it. You have a few extra attributes here on your strategies databases. So you have the different types of strategies you can construct, executes, pops, rushes, splits, uh, fakes. You could do just map control strategies, which this uh, mid control one is. You can have repops, which is like, uh, for example, on Inferno, a lot of teams will play a banana repop on CT side where they wait for sound information, top car, and someone throws a good pop flash from Coffin or CT, and two players will aggress into Banana. That's a, that's a repop, so you can do that. And there's pick plays, like the Palace pick plays that you see a lot of the times uh, on Mirage. So I've added in a bunch of types. You can connect it to you, the utility, so you know exactly what utility to be thrown on those strategies. Uh, you can set tags with favorites or practice if you're working with a team and you want to practice them later on. Um, and that is basically the strategies database. Um, you've seen that. Uh, the defaults, as you can see, have a formation and a side. You have positions for A anchor, rotator, mid player, B rotator, and B anchor. And protocols can be assigned to a specific position as well. Uh, through the multi-select here. You can assign it to multiple positions if, if it can depend on spawn. Other than that, I believe that's it uh, for the playbook. It's uh, not too, too out there. Uh, it is a little bit tricky to get used to using uh, all of these databases and combining them, especially because uh, you see all of the entries across all the maps. That can get a little clunky. Uh, but just keep in mind that when you're looking for utility, the search parameter is where it's thrown from. If you type where it lands, uh, it won't filter as well. So filter it based on the title here. I may change the way that's formatted later to try and be a little bit uh, more search friendly across databases. That's definitely something I'll revisit. Uh, but for now, it, I still think this is a great tool uh, to get your playbook into something and you can export uh, any database uh, as a CSV or any page as a CSV. So export PS so you could full screen a specific view and export all that data as a CSV, which you can put in Excel or Google Sheets. Uh, so there's importing and exporting of these file formats that are widely used. So it's uh, very friendly for if you have an existing playbook or uh, want to export it for later use somewhere else, uh, which is one of the appeals of using Notion, uh, in my opinion. So yeah, you can visit the um, databases that power it all by going into the databases dropdown here. Um, but I generally would just go across the views here um, that have been pre-baked into the views here. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoy this resource and get some value out of it. If you are an IGL and are wanting to um, start creating that uh, system of play within the playbook, uh, yeah, join, join me on the channel. I'm going to be making some videos as I work through that problem myself within my playbook. Uh, yeah, so you could build your playbook alongside me. Other than that, thanks again. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.